Aloha, and welcome to A Course in Miracles, Workbook for Students, Lesson 33. But let's go back for a moment and look at the idea for today for Lesson 31. <clears throat> I am not a victim of the world I see. And it said, this idea is the introduction to your declaration of release. And 32 said, I've invented the world I see. And it said, you are not a victim of the world you see because you invented it. You can give it up as easily as you made it up. You will see it or you or not see it as you wish. Why you want it, you will see it. When you no longer want it, it will not be there for you to see. And this lesson also said it was a continuing to develop the theme of cause and effect. In other words, the cause is our thoughts and the effect is what we see. And now... Today, let's lesson, lesson 33. <clears throat> there is another way of looking at the world. Yesterday, I've invented the world I see. Today, there is another way of looking at the world. Today's idea is an attempt to recognize that you can shift your perception of the world in both its outer and inner aspects. Remember we talked about that and that they're the same. So it says a full five minutes should be devoted to the morning and evening applications. In these practice periods, the idea should be repeated as often as you find comfortable, though unhurried applications are essential. So don't rush through this. It's essential that we just do these exercises. They're only like five minutes, but let's don't rush through them because we really want this course, this mind training course of a Course in Miracles, to have its full effect on us because we really want to see things differently. And this is the way it's going to happen. Alternate between surveying your outer and inner perceptions, but without an abrupt sense of shifting. So we're moving from our outer perceptions, the things around us in the room, outside the window, in this space, without abrupt changes, we begin to close our eyes and see the things that we perceived in our inner world, the thoughts as the stream of consciousness presents them to our mind. Merely glance casually around the world you, you perceive as outside yourself. Then close your eyes and survey your inner thoughts with equal casualness. Try to maintain equally uninvolved in both. So we're just the watcher. You know, some thoughts may come by that look like distracting thoughts or some thoughts may be beautiful thoughts, but we're just the unaffected today when we do this, we're the unaffected watcher of our thoughts. Like if you were to stand out by the roadside and watch the cars go by, watching our thoughts go by.
try to remain equally uninvolved in both and maintain this detachment as you repeat the idea throughout the day. And this is a good one to kind of use even after today when you see something that you don't like the way it looks. You can always use this as sort of like a mantra if you want. There's another way of looking at the world. There's another way of looking at this situation. You can change it a little bit to fit the situation. The shorter exercise periods should be as frequent as possible. Specific applications of today's idea should also be made immediately when any situation arises which tempts you to become disturbed. For these applications, say, there's another way of looking at this. Remember to apply today's idea the instant you are aware of distress. It may be necessary to take a minute or so to sit quietly and repeat the idea to yourself several times. Closing your eyes will probably help in this form of application. And you remember the promise of this course is peace, the peace of God. So whenever something disturbs you or distresses you today and you don't have the peace of God, this can, it's teaching you the tools. It's teaching you that you can see this situation differently another way. And we want to get these tools and these thoughts and these ideas to be a part of us. And so go out there today, enjoy your day, have fun. Remember to start your day in the morning and end your day with these five-minute practice periods and all throughout the day, as often as you can, Remember, especially if it's distressing or bothering or ugly or no matter what you see, you look at it and quietly say to yourself in your mind, there is another way of looking at the world. There is another way of looking at this. So aloha, bless you. Have a happy, peaceful day. Love you and I'll see you tomorrow.